Rusty is back and Rusty is angry. Last episode was absolute chaos. Yes, we were blessed with an own goal, but we absolutely bodied Crosby, bodied Malkin, and were forced to drop the gloves twice. Now, early on in the game, we got this feeling that it was going to overtime and that it did. But who else than Yanni Gord stepping up when we needed it most, the first shot of overtime, he goes bar down for the win. Oh! That brings us to today where we have a nice two week break set aside for the Olympics. EA, add the Olympics to the game. I should be hopping in here representing my country or playing at the All Star game at some point in my Be a Pro career. But unfortunately for Rusty, that is not the case right now. So we'll go ahead and sim to this point where we take on Boston a second time. We lost 5 2 in the sim. It looks like, yes, like I said, no Olympics, no All Star game. Here we go. There is something we have not done this year, and I I have just realized it we have almost five hundred thousand dollars that we can throw away at a nice brand new car last episode it felt like we were skating in quicksand and for some reason when you purchase a car in nhl 22 it gives you a nice little boost and i think the best one for us might be this luxury one you get plus two speed minus one discipline which rusty already doesn't have and an x factor point as well so boom $315,000 down the drain, but we will be a little bit fast. Now, I don't have any of the X-Factors unlocked, so we can't actually use the X-Factor point, but when we do, we will have it. Looking at the standings here, after the two-week sim, we have officially dropped out of a playoff spot. We were hanging on to that last wild card, and it has gone to someone in the central as, yes, the St. Louis Blue, we are tied in points, but they have it. I'm telling you, every single game from this point forward that we play has to be a win the sims have to start turning around or we are not making the playoffs so we got our big rematch versus boston here we go all right it is seattle versus boston everything on the line we've been going through the last few episodes not a worry in the world we've been hanging on to that playoff spot well now after the two-week break it is officially gone so here we go a big game versus boston a good team, a team who has been hot in the real NHL right now, and we're going to get this started right away. Yanni, Gordon, Everly have been buzzing. Gio, what is that shot? Our defenders have been making more and more questionable decisions, and Rusty can't pick up a puck either. Holy. All right, go ahead and sit down. There's Rusty putting in some work. We're going to go up to the point, and then I'm going to go ahead. Okay, Gio, we need to start making some plays here. Go ahead and sit down, Marsh. And the first hit of the game, dude. I know you guys in the comments, you told me to turn off the fighting. This is who Rusty is. We are not taking an L here. We will drop the gloves with whoever wants to take it. As McAvoy comes up to stand up for their star, just like the Penguins did with Crosby and Malkin, he does the same for Marshawn, but it does not matter. Another day, another five minutes of Rostislav Nashrov sitting in the box. How does this happen again? I mean, it's a clean... Every single time, it's been a clean hit. Oh! The 2-0! Who... I, was that Yarny again? Dude, I swear, Yarny has been... You just... You can't have a happy moment in this game. Whenever something good happens, you just know in your head something is happening a second later to take you out of it. So we uh, we were getting ready to get on the ice. I don't think that is a minus for us. That's a positive at least. So it is now a 2-1 game. Uh, we are... I'm not going to lie. We are playing a bit... 10 minutes into the game. 10 minutes, two shifts. We have been forced into a fight and we have gotten viciously attacked. My knee is officially broken. Luckily enough, for the first time ever, we've got somebody standing up for us as Vince Dunn does drop the gloves. We will see what Rusty's injury is like, but another, another sad day and uh, Dunn down on the ice probably injured as well great start we said we needed to come back strong we said we needed to take a two-week break get back into it and now we are more angry than ever are you kidding me and there you have it we cannot continue this game we'll be forced to sim the rest of it and we'll see what the outcome is all right it is 3-2 going into the start of the third period will the seattle play for their fallen play they do it is tied at three we are going to ot okay 
All right, we went through a shootout. So after all this, it is up to... Okay, first save of the game. Is that Vanacek or do we have Drieger now? I, I, listen, I didn't even get to play this game. I have no idea what's going on. We got Everly coming in. Tries to find that backhand. Probably one of the worst moves that I have ever seen. <laughs> we are going to be sitting here for the next 30. I wish we were sitting here for the next 30 minutes. Bergy comes in. Nice little backhand, forehand, and game on the line. We need this extra point. It is Yarny coming in. So the Seattle Kraken, after a devastating first 10 minutes of the game, do take an L. And just like that, we are back to not being in the playoffs. All right, safe to say game one did not go as anticipated. But you know what? We bounced back. We got a game versus one of the best teams in the league right now, the San Jose Sharks. Also a division rival, so even more important. I'm kind of glad that we get to play in this one. So game number two, you get a double dose. Let's hop on it. All right, I'm kind of shook. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was shook after that Pittsburgh game. That last game versus Boston was 10 times worse. Let's see what Rusty and the boys can do. Let's see if we can overcome some adversity. And let's see if we can score... Rebound. Oh, what a shot from Ebbs. Good looks. All right, Eberly. What is that animation, dude? I've never seen that. The man does a full spin. We're walking in. Top left. Try to get that through his legs. I wanted to do the little cut over, get the goalie moving. Yep. He locked me off, dude. Give me the OV1T. Behind the net. Little. Okay, I'm, I'm meant to do the chip, but this, this is kind of working, actually. Okay, not quite. All right, not a bad first shift. If Everly would have fed me, we would have had a goal, but that is okay. Let's keep this rolling. And just like that, Rusty goes to the bench. We are now down one. The good news is we're feeling angry. All right, let's get buzzing a little bit. Time to get a little ozone pressure. We're going to utilize our speed. We have that brand new we have that brand new luxury car. Keep that in mind. We do have plus two speed. It does not feel like we have it in the slightest. All right, I'm committed to my side. I am going to actually talk to the GM and see if we can switch positions. I don't know if that's a possibility at this point in the season, but if I could switch over to center, I think Rusty would be better fit there. Holy, dude, throw the puck up. What is going on with our D? These guys are lost. So we lost game one versus Boston and it is not looking promising here versus San Jose. Let's get into the zone and then I'm just throwing it up to the point we're resetting. Nice little pass from Gio. We go between the legs. Backhand. Let's go, baby! What a move from Rusty. The between the legs to sneak around Burnsy, and we find that rebound. Rusty, quick little dangle. Burnsy actually stays on him pretty tight, but we do get that backhand off. Would have been nice if we buried that top right, but we will take the rebounds all day long, and the Kraken are back. Let's go. Last rush up the ice. Rusty with the little bit of wheels. We got 40 seconds. We're going to go inside. Put on the backs. Oh, my. Let's go. What a call, ref. What a call. We're going to have a little power play with fresh legs off the intermission. On the power play, we do actually get to play on that right side. So we can actually tee up those OV. Oh my gosh, I'm sensing something. Top right. Good looks. That was supposed to go top right corner. Went bottom instead. Everly! Oh my gosh! This guy is a tank! That's that backhand that I wanted. Let's go, Ebbs! Hey, that's another That's another apple for Rusty as well. As he, j I mean, that's kind of a muffin of a shot. As Ebbs and that power play unit one get the job done. We haven't had any sustained pressure. Coach, we just had a power play. We were, we were in their zone for 30 seconds. We buried it our first chance. What are you talking about? But I will get you another goal. Yanni, nice little pass. Nice little drop. Love that look. All right, boys. We are just absolutely dropping people right now. Back to back. Huge hits. We'll get off the ice. I'm going to keep my bar yellow. All right, we're not going to get too tired here. When we get there, we get off. We get back on. Good things happen. I'm going to tr I'm gonna try to just bust up the left side here. Uh, okay. They, they, he wanted to the opposite side. That's fine, though. We still got a little rush. <gasps> Rusty! Right up the middle. Toey. The, the Toey into the five hole. Almost. Good looks. Hurdle, I'm going to need you to go ahead and sit down. Okay, we have not been forced into a fight yet this game. Knock on wood. Things obviously could change. We are just trapped at the blue as well. Five minutes left here in this second period. I Listen, I... Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen Rusty make a hit like that. This man just got cold cocked. I do not... I, I don't want to be the one to say this. I know it kind of happened last time. I am getting that sense. You know, sometimes you just feel a certain energy in the air. I am getting the sense that this is going to OT in a 3-3 tie. I would personally love another... 
Okay, we absolutely jinx this. We 100% jinx this. Evander Kane on the rebound cheese, dude. All right, questionable deke there from Everly. That's okay, though. We're going to toe drag around one. I'm going to try to take this behind the net. <gasps> yep. Let's go, baby. We take that all day long. All right. We got to take what we can get in this game. You know that there's going to be a couple more. But Rusty does work behind the net. Takes it to the front. Little cheese. All right. But like I said, you got to do what you got to do out here. All right. He chased me behind the net. I'm going to take that goal all day long. Rusty gets the job done. And we are tied at three. Here's that goal for coach as well. Let's go. No goals again. No goals against. Boom. Okay. We make it to the second intermission. Still tied at three. I called the 3-3 OT. Will there not be a goal in the third? I'm kind of having doubts. I feel like we got another one or two in us at least. This first line doing all the work. We are flying out here. Let's keep it rolling in period number three. The thing I don't understand about this Sharks lineup is how did they randomly pick up Landeskog and not lose anyone else? Their lineup is like, is app. <gasps> Rusty, one hit. Oh! No replay? This is exactly what happened last episode. With the own goal, you don't get the replay. And I think we were blessed with another own goal here. We made the right play. Don't get me wrong. Let's take a look at this one. Rusty, we have no angle. We have nothing. We go for the one hand. It's sneaking five hole. That's going, it's going in regardless. But Burnsy does whack it in a second time for us. So that puck is going in. That is a goal for Rusty nonetheless. Burnsy tosses it into his own net just past the goal line. And what a day. Our first one-handed goal and be a pro. And it could not come at a better time. All right, 10 minutes. All we have to do is kill 10 minutes. Seems easy enough, right? We've never choked a, choked a lead. What a pass. That is one of the nastiest passes that I've ever... And a nasty save to go along with it. <gasps> Team me up. I don't know what that was. We got a little three on two here. I'm going to try to... We'll try to wheel path up the boards. And again, dude, I'm getting destroyed. If I go into that back skating, it is just done. And just like that. That, that, that is 100% on me. No lead is safe here at Be A Pro. As uh, Landeskog is there to bury it. Nine minutes on the clock. We are tied at four. Holy. I might just stay on here the last two minutes. I want to be the hero today. All right, Rusty... Wait, inter interference? I swear this man hit the guy with the puck unless it was something away from the play. Are you out of your mind, referee? We just had to go to the replay to see this for ourselves with our own two eyes. Look at what Eberly does here. What is he doing? He intentionally bodies him, and that's the penalty. So, yes, just like this, the guy that has been carrying this team makes the dumbest mistake that you can make. Will there be a goal against to ruin this game? Let's find out. Please, nothing, nothing. Nothing. We make it. Let's go, boys. What a kill. And just like that, we are going to OT for the second episode in a row. Third game in a row. And yes, the dream trio is back together. We have got Yanni Gord. We just need one play. A chance for Rusty to be the hero. Terrible shot. Let's go. Wheel, 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 wheel. Rusty with speed. Rusty up the wing. Latest Kong to be... Try to find that backhand. Not quite there. That's fine, though. Let's get a little setup here. Top, top right. Terrible shot. Absolutely terrible shot. We're going to go for one last rush, and then we will, unfortunately, have to get off the ice. Here we go. Larson. I'm skating right at the middle. Larson. Good find. We're just trying to find him. Back to work. Oh, the boys do it. And yet again, the three musketeers get the job done. No energy left. Our last rush up the ice. And just like that, the Seattle Kraken ultimately get the victory. A beautiful feed across the middle from Rostislav Nashirov. A bit of a force through the two defenders, but it does not matter. A huge win, a fun game, an OT banger, and Rusty is a hero. One of the craziest episodes we have had in a long time. I forgot even about that first game and all the madness of that. That one went to a shootout. Game number two, we come out, we're angry, we're playing strong, we got some nasty goals, we scored our first one-hander, let's go. You know what, I want to end this episode on a positive note for once. We played two games today, so we are just going to end it there. No sim needed, we got our win versus a division rival, the second best team in the league, 
Now let's take a look at the standings. And boom, just like that, the Kraken have got their rightfully deserved the spot they own, that last wild card spot. So yes, it is ours, but we saw over the two week sim, we can easily drop out at any moment. What an episode though, what a day. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you wanna see more Be A Pro videos with Rostislav Nastrov, you know what to do. Hit that like button. We are also on the road to 1 million subscribers. So hit that subscribe. I'm Nasher and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, yeah.